The North Dakota Game and Fish Department teamed up with the University of North Dakota last winter to trap and put GPS backpacks on 100 nuisance turkeys to track their movements. So when we're translocating them and releasing them to these WMAs, what are they doing? The second theme would be their reproduction. What is the reproduction of these birds here in North Dakota? Are they nesting and at what rate? Then we also have the survival component, so just what is the annual survival of these birds here in North Dakota? The department has been trapping and moving turkeys since the 90s from depredation sites to wildlife management areas. So it's important to find out what these birds are doing after being relocated. Everything's anecdotal, but you know, we're learning really good stuff about our turkeys. So we're finding, you know, survival has been about kind of a, a little bit more than what I expected so far. Uh, nesting, the reproduction has been low, kind of what, you know, past research has said. And some of the turkey movements are a little surprising too. Just the distance, sheer distance that some of these turkeys are moving, you know, over 15 plus miles. I had, you know, ideas that they were going to do that because in North Dakota, obviously we don't have, you know, abundant turkey habitat except for you know the river corridors. Kaylee Isaacson has been monitoring these birds since their release last winter from the ground and the air. So I am mainly tracking them with a VHF um, component inside their transmitter so I walk out there with a the Yagi antenna and listen to a bunch of beeps to walk in on these birds but I also have a piece of technology called a base station. So this base station, if it's within one to three kilometers of the birds, will actually pick up their GPS coordinates. Little research has been done on turkeys in North Dakota, so the results from this project will help biologists better manage these birds into the future. And the plan is to trap, collar, and relocate 115 more birds this winter. So we are just trapping the birds for these two years, and I will be on the ground monitoring them through 2024. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.